In this video, we're going to investigate the incredible story of a giant octopus that terrorized an aquarium, leaving a trail of carcasses and missing sharks in its wake. Throughout history, cephalopods have been the topic of myth and legend, from the Kraken to 20,000 leagues under the sea. They constantly fascinate mankind due to their genetic makeup being nothing like any other species on planet Earth. And this animal caused major havoc for the zoo that it was living in, the giant Pacific octopus. In this aquarium, there were touch tanks filled with sharks, very common sharks called spiny dogfish. And at night, when the aquarium was closed, sharks would either go missing or small remains were left behind in the touch tank, as though something was coming in, leaving absolutely no sign and shredding these sharks. The first hypothesis that people came up with was that the sharks were somehow jumping out at night, which was quickly resolved by understanding that had a shark jumped out of a tank, it would be lying on the ground dead in the morning. So logic simply dictates that that was not the case. The second hypothesis was that perhaps people were stealing sharks. But if an employee or even a patron did happen to be stealing sharks, you think as they were marching out of the aquarium carrying a live shark, someone would have noticed. In addition to that, occasionally remains were being found within the touch tank, meaning that somebody was actually coming in there and killing these sharks. So the theory that sharks were being stolen or taken by people is out the window. The aquarium decided to set up cameras. What they found was unbelievable. A giant Pacific octopus, an insane cephalopod that grows to 20 feet long and over 200 pounds, was expertly opening its enclosure, leaving the safety of its own tank, traveling over to the touch tanks, killing and eating sharks, and then returning back to its own tank, closing the lid and going to sleep before anyone in the aquarium even knew what was happening. But to figure out whether or not this is true, as the aquarium refused to release the footage due to the fact that it would tarnish their reputation, we have to take a close look at the octopus. In order to escape and leave no trace, it would have to possess the intelligence, the strength, the ability, and the desire to want to actually go and eat sharks. So here you can see an octopus squeezing through a hole that is a fraction the size of its body. And because the octopus has no hard structures, no bones other than the beak in the center of it, it can actually morph its entire body to fit through any holes that are bigger than its eyeballs. So seen here, an octopus was trapped in a small box, a tiny little hole, a fraction the size of the animal, and it can squeeze right through just like it would the crack in an enclosure. So now you have to ask yourself, do they have the desire? Would they want to hunt a shark, which typically in nature would be the animal hunting the octopus? We'll take a look at this old, rare archival footage. As you see here, a small dogfish is swimming by, and this giant Pacific octopus lashes out and grabs this shark before pulling it in to eat it. This is a one in a million piece of media that was captured by this team some 20 plus years ago. But it does show that octopus will actively prey on sharks, which sort of flips our entire understanding of the food chain on its head because we think of sharks as preying on octopus. Now to figure out whether or not this would be possible in an aquarium setting or this is all just an urban legend, I had to go and speak with an octopus expert, an old friend at the Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium. Oh yeah, look at all these latches. Six different latches just to contain this animal. These octopus are so strong, they're so intelligent, and if we didn't have the latches and this type of robust lid, who knows where this octopus could go? Have a little crabsicle. That's right. So, so he's got intelligent chromatophores and taste receptors in every single one of those suction cups. That's right. So the giant Pacific octopus, when they're full grown, has over 2,000 suction cups on wow. its eight arms. Wow. And they do, they taste, they explore their environment. They use those arms so that when they're foraging in rocky, cavernous areas, uh -huh. they can reach that arm into that cave, feel and taste a crab, and then grab it to bring it out to eat. Unbelievable. That so, would be like us touching a donut and going, hmm, this, this tastes sweet. 
in the in the instance of the octopus that was escaping his enclosure traveling across the aquarium and stealing sharks out of the tank why would an octopus choose to do something like that so it may be as simple as they are so intelligent wow, that they're guy. wanting to explore, explore their environment uh -huh. and they realize that they can open a lid or they can come out and reach out of a tank and feel and taste what's around them and that alone could be enough to pique their curiosity and get them to, to, to go explore. I mean, the ability to change color, the ability to change texture, I completely understand where the extraterrestrial alien idea comes from. They're covered in chromatophores, which are these specialized pigmented pockets that they can expand and contract to change their color right. to perfectly match their environment. One of these animals could be sitting right in front of a researcher out of its tank, just perfectly blending into a cabinet or something, <laughs> and you'd walk right by it because they are that good at camouflage. I would not be surprised. They're amazing. So in this instance, in the instance of the missing sharks, in that aquarium up in Alaska or wherever it happened to be, it's pretty safe to say that it is undeniably the octopus that was causing this unusual phenomenon of I, missing sharks. I could absolutely believe that being exactly what happened. In this case, I think the mystery is solved. These animals are truly amazing.